going on with Mega Man? If any of you guys have seen the news recently, you would know that Mega Man has been appearing in a lot of places, and unfortunately, none of those places are a new Mega Man game. But Mega Man has been appearing in some very interesting places, so let's take a look at where all Mega Man has been and what this means for the future of the Mega Man series. First and foremost, the most recent Mega Man announcement has been that there is a new Amazon Prime TV show called Secret Level that seems to feature a ton of different video games and might be a fun watch. And of course, our boy Mega Man appeared in the trailer for about maybe a little over a second. Yeah, this repeating footage you see right here on screen is all we got to see from Mega Man in regards to this TV show, but the trailer still had the nerve to put Mega Man in the title, which feels a little bit rude. But this is only a teaser, and honestly, Mega Man is looking pretty good. The last Mega Man TV show we got was Mega Man Fully Charged, and I mean, to me, that was off. It makes me sick just looking at it. That show had multiple episodes, and I still prefer the 75 frame loop that we're looking at right now. I tried to look into this TV show a little bit further, since we basically have no information, and conveniently linked in the YouTube trailer is a link next to something that says learn more. So, you know, I figured uh, maybe I could learn more about this uh, teaser trailer here in this TV show. And now, I can't read, so maybe I messed up, but uh, that link just takes me to this page, and I can't see the show anywhere. Also, Rick and Morty apparently has an anime now? That's weird. But anyway, I can't really find much about this Amazon Prime TV show, but it looks like a lot of money is being put into it, and I assume each episode has a different game theme, or maybe there are a couple per episode, but who knows. It's called Secret Level, and we do see a scene in the teaser that I think is the main character getting into whatever weird situation causes him to go through video game worlds, so it does have the potential to be a very good show. I just wish we saw more Mega Man. I mean, he's in the title. This is the highest quality render we've seen of Mega Man since the Smash Bros. 4 trailer back in 2013, which was 11 years ago, might I add? And even the Rotten Tomatoes official YouTube channel talks about Mega Man in the comment section. It is the first thing you see when you scroll down. I think we deserve some more information on this, but again, it's just a teaser trailer, so surely we'll get more at some point, right? And maybe Secret Level will introduce some more people to Mega Man. I don't know the audience that this Amazon Prime TV show is going after, but surely it's more than just Mega Man fans, right? Either way, I'll definitely check this out when the Mega Man episode airs, and if it's interesting and you guys want to hear about it, maybe I'll make a video on it, so uh, subscribe if that's something you want to see. But another thing Mega Man related that is significantly less of a big deal was the Mega Man Funko Pop. But not just the Mega Man Funko Pop toy thing, but Mega Man appearing in the Funko Pop game as a Funko Pop. Look, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I've never been a fan of Funko Pops on account of them being ugly, but when this game was announced, I did think it was cool how many franchises were in the same game. I don't know a lot about this game, maybe it sucks, but it's honestly a cool concept, and Mega Man getting thrown into this makes me want to check it out. Again, I haven't seen a lot about this game, but even before Mega Man was announced for it, even I, a Funko Pop hater, thought this had the potential to be a cool and good game. But with Mega Man joining the brawl, I'll for sure at least keep an eye out on this game and keep you guys updated if it turns out to be worth playing or something cool happens in regards to Mega Man. Plus, there are more Mega Man Funko Pops that exist just as toys. I don't know if they'll be added to the game, but why wouldn't they? I know there's a Proto Man Funko Pop and a Mega Man X Funko Pop, which would be super fun as playable characters in any video game, so I'm sure they'll fit here. I don't know. This announcement was weird, and I do have mixed feelings about it, but this was announced shortly before the TV show, and I thought it was worth mentioning in this video, especially since we haven't gotten any real Mega Man games in a while. I mean, the closest thing we've had to news recently was the annual Capcom shareholders meeting that they are forced to perform on a yearly basis, but I did already make a video on that if you want to see more details about Capcom and what they said about the future of the Mega Man franchise. But something that was announced a few months ago that I never had the chance to really talk to you guys about was Mega Man's feature in the game Exo Primal. I'd never heard of this game until Mega Man was added, and I have no idea what this game is about, but I mean, it looks pretty cool, especially now that Mega Man is in it. Oh, and also Air Man is in it too for some reason, which is a very random Mega Man character to have, but I'm not complaining at all. Air Man may be my favorite robot master, so frankly, I might play this just for the Air Man representation. The Yellow Devil also seems to appear as a boss fight in this game, but again, I don't really know much about this game at all. I'd never even heard of it, let alone see gameplay of it before the Mega Man thing was announced. But recently, I was watching Simon Pub livestream this game, and he was kind enough to show me some of the skins, and he even invited me to play with him and his friends, but I unfortunately do not have this game. But I am now intrigued, and maybe I'll have to pick it up sometime in the future. So yeah, shout out to Simon Pub. Go check out his Twitch channel. He streams a lot of Mega Man stuff and other games as well, and if it wasn't for him, I would have completely forgotten about the Mega Man Exo Primal collaboration. Genuinely, when I first 
first saw this announcement, I thought it was a mod or something. I mean, I didn't even know that it was official because it was just so random, and I didn't even know the game existed. Also, once again, all the comments on this announcement video on YouTube are just talking about how Capcom never makes Mega Man games, but loves to use Mega Man in other people's games, which is very frustrating, but at least we're getting something. At least we know Capcom has not forgotten about Mega Man entirely, and they do understand that Mega Man as a franchise is very valuable and recognizable to multiple audiences. Which takes us to the whole point of this video. What in the world is going on with Mega Man? He's appearing in random games I've never heard of, making deals with Funko Pops, and appearing in his own Amazon Prime TV show, yet he won't even appear in his own game? That's just weird to me. I know Capcom making a Mega Man game is completely different than Capcom allowing another game or Amazon to use Mega Man as an IP, but still. Mega Man fans have made it known for many years that we want more Mega Man, and the fact that so many games and even Amazon wants to use Mega Man's IP should show Capcom that there is a huge interest in Mega Man, which means that there is a lot of money to be made with a Mega Man game, which is obviously all Capcom cares about, let's be honest with ourselves. So why haven't we seen a Mega Man game? Mega Man 11 sold well, the Battle Network Legacy Collection sold great, Mega Man ranked pretty highly in that weird Capcom poll thing that released recently. Capcom knows we want Mega Man, and they know that they will make money if they release a Mega Man game. And well, I did talk about this issue in more detail in the video I made about the shareholders meeting, but I didn't bring up everything. For example, I talked about Rockman Tizen, which was a leaked game that has been in the works for a very long time, has a huge budget, and would have been released by now if it wasn't for COVID and other delays. I believe the head of Mega Man was also fired or quit or something during the development of this, which of course made things complicated, but I could be wrong, I don't fully remember the details on that, but I do remember reading something along those lines. But basically, Capcom actually has been working on Mega Man stuff behind the scenes at least since 2019, which is the year after Mega Man 11 came out. It just seems like either things keep getting delayed or are running into obstacles. And as much as it's hard to believe Capcom is working on new Mega Man games when we talk about the current state of Mega Man and, uh, you know, what's been going on in the past few years, and even since before Mega Man 9 released, I do think they are cooking up something big. Now, is it Mega Man 12 or Mega Man X9? I mean, I hope so, and maybe, but I don't think that's what Rockman Tizen is. And maybe Capcom cancelled Rockman Tizen, but I really don't think so due to the huge budget it had and the future that was planned for it. Capcom was already planning DLC for the game for years to come before it was even finished being developed. That seems like too big of a project to just give up on, but who knows, it wouldn't be the first time Capcom broke our hearts by cancelling big Mega Man games. Which is something I have also made a video on, but it's very depressing, so watch at your own discretion. Even though that's all depressing to think about though, it does show that Capcom cares about Mega Man and wants to make new games for the series. It's just a shame that games keep getting canned or delayed or whatever, but judging by the leaks and cancelled games throughout the past few years, Capcom wants to make more Mega Man games. And that is probably because they know we want them. The fans have been vocal and we're now seeing companies as big as Amazon using Mega Man, and we know Capcom has been trying their best with all these cancelled and leaked games, well, maybe not their best, if it was their best we probably would have seen some of these games, but you get what I'm trying to say. And look, these legacy collections are nice, I'll take them any day, but it's time for a new Mega Man game. Hopefully Mega Man going all over the place recently is a good sign for that, but you never know with Capcom. Again, I do think they are working on something big, but I'm just a YouTuber, which is really just a person who sits in their room all day. So I don't really know anything, I mean I can't even read. But as stupid as it may be, I am holding out hope for a new Mega Man game releasing in the next couple of years, and being announced maybe this year or next year. Whether it's Rockman Tizen or Mega Man 12 or whatever, I think something big is being worked on right now that just isn't ready to be announced yet. And if I'm wrong, uh, I don't know. But if I'm right, I'm gonna link this video to everyone I know in real life and convince them that I can see the future. And then they'll all probably ghost me because none of them play Mega Man and I am a weirdo, but I'll be happy at the very least. And that's what matters. That and a new Mega Man game being released. Those are the two things that matter most. Anyway, that's what's going on with Mega Man, at least I think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully none of these extracurricular activities that Mega Man has gotten involved in will get in the way of a new Mega Man game because, uh... We all need Mega Man X9, right? Right, guys? Come on. Subscribe if you want Mega Man X9. You have to do it. You have to do it. Also, subscribe if you don't want Mega Man X9. Now you have no choice. <laughs> you better subscribe.